Welcome to day 182 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us, continuously improves us. We just finished off the relationship life framework area and aspect of our life. So I should grab my life framework. We're working on nine different areas and aspects of our life this year. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships. Now we're on contribution and then we'll talk about confidence and communication over the next couple of months. We're going to focus on one area per month for the first nine months of the year to coincide with the life framework. Why? Because it gives us a little bit of structure and it helps us to add and automate something a little bit at a time versus trying to jump in. A lot of us set huge goals and objectives at the beginning of the year and then wonder about halfway in, which is where we are in the year right now. We're at the halfway point. What happened, right? It's almost the halfway point. Actually, today is, today and tomorrow is the exact halfway point of the year. So, we're going to talk about contribution. And the first thing we need to do is we need to define what contribution is to you. And I, I have to do the same thing. Our action item today is to say, okay, what is contribution to me? What does contribution mean? How do I know if I'm contributing or not? Uh, and we have to define that for ourselves. I used to believe when I was younger that the only way you contributed was if you gave money to a charity or something. But that's absolutely positively one way to do it, but there's a whole lot of other ways to do it as well. So I need a magnifying glass, which for some reason all my magnifying glasses, except one of my grandmothers, have disappeared from my work area, which is really, really weird because I almost always have them by me. So definition of contribution. A couple definitions I found online, of course, are uh, a gift or payment to a common fund or collection part played by a person in bringing about a result or helping something to advance so if you're volunteering at a charity for example or volunteering to help the environment etc those would be contributions and then another definition is an article or other piece of writing submitted for publication. If you are contributing to something, if you're contributing a lot of, uh, I don't have one handy, but a lot of the books that are created nowadays are a whole bunch of people. They're collections of a bunch of different people's stories. Think Chicken Soup for the Soul. That's probably the most famous collection where the, the people that are authors or responsible for the book actually didn't write as any of the stories. They just collected other people's stories and shared them in a collection called Chicken Soup for the Soul. And now they've gone on to be, I don't even know how many, millions and millions and millions of copies of that have been sold. Hundreds of millions, for sure. Maybe even closer to, I don't know how many. I'm not going to say. But lots. One of the best-selling books of all time is the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. So we can contribute in a lot of different ways, but we have to decide what is contribution to you. What is the contribution to me? To me, donating my time, money, energy, effort, uh, donating things, don't or sharing things that I have, that's all contribution. To me, any way that we add to value to the world and make the world a better place, I guess I do know my definition, is contribution. So my overall purpose in life is to become the best version of myself so that I can contribute the most that I am capable of contributing to make the world a better place. I, I should have written that down because that's probably my definition of contribution. And we can do that in all sorts of ways. And we'll talk about those ways throughout the month. Um, but you can start thinking about them. How do I contribute to the world? If you help any other person in any way possible, you're contributing to the world and making it a better place. There are people that do more harm than good when it comes to what they offer and what they share with the world. But that's not us because we wouldn't be on a continuous improvement journey to become the best version of ourselves if we didn't want to make the world a better place. Because making us better makes the world a better place. Just doing personal development, learning, continuing to learn and grow and read and think for yourself, those are all ways that we contribute to making the world a better place. So our action item today is to think about the word contribution and the area of contribution, how it impacts different areas and aspects of our life. To me, it impacts a lot of different areas and aspects of my life. When I contribute or help someone else or do them a favor or when somebody does me a favor, it makes me feel good. And the more positive energy we add to the world, 
the more the world is a better place and that's a form of contribution as well so share in the comments below your definition of contribution and the contribution area and aspect of your life and i will be with you tomorrow for a month-long focus on the contribution area and aspect of our life for our annual checkbook. Have an awesome day. I'll of course be with you tomorrow.